big goal of ours to make Montgomery County the first no-kill shelter in Tennessee. We get a lot of negative negative remarks and a lot of negative things said on social media. I think that they should educate themselves because that's what we're here for is for the animals. Unfortunately, a lot of the animals that come in are not owner surrenders, so we do not know any kind of history on them. I would always encourage to go look at the shelter first because you never know what you're going to find there. A lot of these dogs come from unfortunate situations or they just want, weren't wanted anymore. It's almost as if people think they're going to the to the store to buy a stuffed animal and they don't realize the lifelong commitment these these animals need. But unfortunately we see that a lot, especially since a military town. There's a lot of people that leave and sometimes there's a situation where they wanted to take the dog and keep the dog, but they can't. And then we've got a huge straight problem with cats. People aren't spaying and neutering and we're getting huge cat colonies, which can cause a problem spread and rabies and all kinds of other diseases. We are run by volunteers and by donations. We get so much money from the county, the amount of number of animals that come in, it's hard to budget. So we rely on the donations from, from the community. One of the biggest donations that we get is actually coming in and volunteering and spending time with the animals. We try to take them out as much as possible, but they go out in the morning, they get put in the kennel, and then they sometimes get to go out but there's so many animals, it's hard to take them all out and spend time with them. We do have volunteer programs. There's one called Paws for Paws. It's a Facebook page that allows regular volunteers or people that want to know more uh, to go on there. Because we'll do adoption events. We'll sometimes get involved with the local rescues and then do adoption events with the shelter and with their dogs. It just it, it allows people to come together and bring new ideas and get more people involved and create better opportunities for these animals. A lot of times people say that they can't do it, they don't understand how we can work here, but I try to encourage people and I tell them, just think about you coming in and spending that little bit of time with that animal might have been the only love that they've ever been shown.